As warm as it was out there today, it actually ended up being the 43rd consecutive day in a row of cooler than average temperatures. But as you can see here on the weather headlines behind me, this will be ending as we head into the holiday as hotter than average temperatures move in. Higher humidity as well will make it feel like 100 to 105 over the weekend. Thunderstorms do come back in the forecast, but not until tomorrow night. So for your Thursday evening, looking good if you have cookout plans this evening, although it will be on the hot side, 6 p.m. temperatures at 91 only drop into about 90 as we head through the seven o'clock hour at the pool on Friday. Wear sunscreen, apply it often, whatever you'll be doing outside because the UV index will be at an 11. That is the extreme category and temperatures will be extremely warm. 95 by 4 p.m. Partly sunny, a southwest wind at 5 to 10. It's going to feel like about 102 by tomorrow afternoon. It has been a little hazy out there today. Here's a live look from our Beach Island camera. It is 92 degrees, but the good news is that the humidity really not adding a whole lot to it today. The feels like temperature right now at the airport 93 winds from the east at six around the area. Temperatures are in the lower 90s for the most part, but a couple of spots a little cooler. There's Saluda at 88 92 in Louisville, mostly sunny in Barnwell at 93. And that looks like our hottest weather actually there in Sandersville. You're at 95 degrees factor in the humidity. We do have it feels like 103 right now in Evans, but most of the area right there in the middle 90s for a feels like temperature right there at 95 in Barnwell. Peak heat index values will be headed up over the weekend, though. We'll go up to about 102 on average across the area tomorrow, 105 by Sunday and headed into Monday. And it's going to stay above average hot all the way through about next Thursday or Friday. That haze I showed you on the camera is because of the Canadian wildfires up to the north. Our jet stream still coming down from the northwest. A dip in the jet stream across the east, still bringing some smoke into the eastern portions of the country. The ridge of high pressure will be moving on to the east, and that should make the smoke a little better across the eastern part of the country. It is going to make temperatures hotter, though. As far as rain, we are watching this, uh, this complex of thunderstorms here. It'll try to move to the southeast. That one will be weakening, but we do expect a similar complex to form tomorrow. That one will have a better chance of making it into the CSRA on your Friday night. So keep that in mind as you make your Friday night plans. For your Thursday night, there it is, rain-free out there. We'll stay rain-free overnight. Waking up to lower 70s on your Friday morning, mostly sunny skies at noon tomorrow. Already hot up there around 90 degrees or so. 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, most of us are dry, although there could be a stray shower this early in the evening. As we head toward 10, 11 o'clock, though, there's that complex of thunderstorms I was talking about attempting to move into the area. So we could have a little bit of uh, rain to contend with Friday night. Saturday afternoon, especially Saturday evening, looks like a similar complex of thunderstorms will form again. So there could be some rain out there by Saturday night as well. Overnight tonight, mostly clear. It'll be a rain free night in Evans. Your low temperature 70 degrees. Same thing for you in Waynesboro. Plenty of sunshine tomorrow. A 30% chance of thunderstorms late. That should be tomorrow night. So not a bad day in Thompson. Your high 96 with a heat index near 102. Saturday, a hot one, high near 96, a 30% chance of late day thunderstorms. Hottest weather appears to be Sunday and into Monday. That 98 Sunday will feel like about 105.